are in London, England at the prestigious Air Studios today to record Sir Patrick Stewart as the voice of Lego Universe. All right, whenever you're ready. Now let's imagine how your story begins. Traversing the reaches of space and time. Detecting a powerful source of energy, the four explorers were jubilant. They had finally found what they were looking for. They quickly descended upon an ancient temple, a relic of the mythical first builders. Inside was the imagination nexus, the long lost source of pure imagination. We were producing the opening cinematic for the game, and the uh, session went amazingly well. He's a really wonderful actor and great performer. He was able to add a lot of character and depth to the uh, written script, and uh, really brought a lot of uh, charm that I think will you know, add to the game. That's where your story begins. It's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you very much. My job is really to sort of make sure everything comes together uh, in the project regards to audio. So music, dialogue, uh, sound effects, integration into the game engine, uh, and make sure the experience is what, you know, the highest quality we can make it. The music for LEGO Universe was incredibly important. We had to nail this 100%. We had to be able to come up with a theme that was going to be iconic to the brand and the, and the game product and was gonna be infectious in your head without being annoying. And to do that, I tried to find really good thematic composers. And there was one guy who had stood out in my head for quite a few years, and that was with Brian Tyler, who's just an amazing composer. I would talk to Richard and he would say, okay, well, this, this world has these elements. Um, you're gonna have ninjas here. You're gonna have your spaceship. You're gonna have the spider cave. You're gonna have all these different things are very interesting. And they all had such different tonalities. So kind of the whole experience of what entertainment is, is what, what like as me as a kid and as a grown up kid that, that still games and does all that kind of thing. Um, that's, that's what I'm looking for in an experience. We were able to obtain a fantastic orchestra in Bratislava, Slovakia, to record the score for us. Due to the constraints of schedule, we set up a remote link uh, between Los Angeles and Slovakia. We're here in Los Angeles monitoring it. Actually, we can see them and we can hear them and experience it as it goes, but uh, for us, it starts, it starts at midnight and it goes all through the night till the morning. And for them, it's the daytime. And it's this kind of weird thing, you know. Uh, no matter what, when you're doing sessions and you want to record the music for something, you want it to be the best it possibly can, but you kind of get flipped around. You're a little bit upside down uh, in terms of time. So, we, you know, we're in a darkened studio anyway. We don't really know what, <laughs> what time it is. Believe me, it's fantastic. You see the notes on the page, and you've written it out, and you're hoping it's gonna sound like it is in your head, and then they play it back, and it's so much better than you really imagine. Yeah. There's gonna be a whole generation of kids who play this game, and they will remember it through their childhood and into teenagers and adulthood. We're imprinting memories with the music, the dialogue, the sound effects, the graphics, everything in the game will be part of the, the memories that they create for that experience. It kind of comes from the real world of blocks and things that you put together, and even though you're in this virtual world, it's, it comes from something organic that you're used to kind of holding in your hand. And in this way, it's really the same thing with the music. We're, we're sitting here looking at computer screens, but in reality, you're capturing all the sound with microphones, and you're capturing humans, you know, <laughs> blowing on things and playing stuff and bowing and, and doing all these things that generate the sound and it comes through you, even though it's coming through these, you know, over the internet, it still retains that humanity. So it's kind of an interesting parallel to me as, as uh, almost like building a Lego kit. Uh, you know, you, you build your, your music and then you have the live musicians play it and it comes back to you and uh, it's been fantastic. Weirdly enough, I, what I want people to experience at least is kind of walk away from it and when they go into their their regular lives or go to school or go to their job is to kind of have that Lego universe music playing through their head because that's what they can take with them. And that can be kicking around up there and, and maybe it makes life a little bit more fun.